Hello everyone, my name is Ngaung Tenzin from the Engineering Geology Department, currently studying in second year. In this video, I will be talking about the geology of Bhutan, that is, the thrusts and faults that are present in Bhutan. I have created a map using the software called QGIS where I have compiled all the trusts and faults that are present in Bhutan and generated it into a single map which I will be showing to you in the later slides. So before I show you the map containing the trusts and faults that are present in Bhutan, I will be explaining briefly about different types of faults and their formation. So as you can see, there are four types of faults and they are normal faults, reverse faults, strike slip faults and oblique faults. So I will be explaining very briefly about these four types of faults because understanding these types of faults and their associated structures is very important for predicting and mitigating hazards like earthquakes, landslides and other geological hazards. Number 1 Normal fault. Normal fault is a fault in which the hanging wall moves downward with respect to the foot wall. A uh, normal fault is higher than the hanging wall, and uh, normal faults they usually occur along divergent boundary, and they have steep dips of about sixty degree. So as you can see in this diagram. The hanging wall block is moving downward and the foot wall block is moving upward. They are moving in total, totally opposite directions. So this is what a normal fault is. Number two, reverse fault. So reverse faults are a type of dip slip fault where the hanging wall moves upward relative to the foot wall. They are commonly found in areas where tectonic plates are actively colliding or being compressed. So, reverse faults, uh, they are the type of faults where the hanging wall, they move upward and the foot wall, it moves downward. They move in totally opposite direction but it is completely opposite to what a normal fault is. So we can say that a reverse fault is the opposite of normal fault. So there are two types of reverse faults that is thrust faults and over thrust faults. Now moving on to the third one, it is called strike slip fault. Strike slip fault is also called as transcurrent fault, wrench fault or lateral fault. In geology, a fracture in the rock of Earth's crust in which the rock masses slip past one another parallel to the strike, the intersection of a rock surface with the surface of another horizontal plane. Strike slip faults are widespread and many are found at the boundary between obliquely converging oceanic and continental tectonic plates. So there are two types of strike slip fault uh, which is uh, based on the movement of blocks and they are right lateral strike slip fault which is known as textural and left lateral strike slip fault which is known as sinistral. On to the last type of fault it is known as oblique fault. Oblique slip faulting suggests both dip slip faulting and strike slip faulting. It is caused by a combination of shearing and tension of compressional forces. As you can see in this diagram, there are four types of faulting occurring in this diagram. A, B, C and D. A is the normal fault, B is the reverse fault, C is the strike slip fault and D is the oblique slip fault. So in A, as you can see, it is the normal fault and because of this faulting, there is extension of the width of the two blocks. So it is caused due to tension force. And in the B, reverse fault, 
as you can see there is shortening of the two blocks so that there is shortening of the width of the width of the two blocks which is a uh, cost due to compression so in C strike slip fault there is shearing between the two rock block masses so the oblique slip fault what it really means is it suggests that there will be two types of forces acting here one is the normal fault where there is tensional force between the uh, two rock blocks and other one is the shearing force where there is shearing stress between the two rock blocks so the combination of these two it gives the oblique slip faulting thank you that will be all about the types of fault and their formation moving on to the thrust and faults that are present in Bhutan this is the map I have generated using the software QGIS uh, which shows the thrust and faults that are present in Bhutan so the thrust and faults I have um, marked on this map is gathered from my classmates which we have already presented in a flip class session and I have gathered all the information from other group members and my group and gathered it as one, compiled it and then I have generated this map to, um, to show all the trusts and faults and locate it on a single map so that it will be easier for all of us to understand um, and locate these trusts and faults easily. So as you can see here, uh, there are 15 thrusts and faults um, in here and epicenters of past earthquakes. So the 15 thrusts and faults in this symbol, it um, includes the MFT, which is the main frontal thrust, the MBT, which is the main boundary thrust, and the MCT, which is the main central thrust. Uh, some of the thrusts and faults, uh, some of them they are like represented by uh, colored solid lines and some of them are represented by uh, colored dashed lines so as you can see here there is the MFT, the MBT, the MCT, Katang Thrust, Sarpang and Mao Kola Fault, Dubri Chutang, Shumar Fault, Kaktang Thrust, Kopili Thrust, Popjika, Trongsa, Yadungulu Fault, Jomolha Jomolhari Fault, Lingji Fault, and the Saktang Fault. These are the only thrusts and faults that I could locate uh, g using the information that I have gathered from other groups' presentations. So I have also located the past. Uh, I have also located the epicenters of the past earthquakes that occurred in Bhutan, uh, which is symbolized by this uh, red star-like structure. So, as you can see on the map, there are seven. Uh, there are seven epicenters so far. Two on the uh, western side, uh, three on the eastern side, and. Um, the other two on the south part of the western uh, eastern side of Bhutan. So there are in total seven epicenters. So this is the map that I have generated using QGIS, gathering all the information from other groups and um, locating the trusts and faults that are present in Bhutan. Thank you. That will be all for my presentation.